In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a responsive website using jQuery Mobile. jQuery Mobile started off as a tool that allowed you to create applications and websites that looked great on phones. And one of the things that has happened though over the last few years is the different types of screens that we use for viewing content, phones, phablets, devices such as tablets and large screen um, computers have really expanded and so jQuery Mobile has also expanded to allow you to create responsive designs and so I'm going to show you some of the tricks that they have built into the framework. So I'm going to show you how to create responsive images, how to use grids for laying out your content and then finally how to use uh, responsive tables within jQuery Mobile for creating really cool effects on your screen. So I'm doing all of this on my desktop and I'm using Safari as my web browser to show you what the content looks like. You can actually go ahead and you can actually uh, do all of this and you can actually take the code that we're creating and it could be used in a phone cap application. It could be used in a public website. All of this works just great across all different devices. Uh, whether they are traditional uh, desktop um, operating systems with Chrome and Safari and Internet Explorer as a web browser, or if they are tablets or um, smart um, what, smartphones, really anything that has a screen. So let's look at the code. Um, I searched off and I'm using the CDN versions of uh, jQuery Mobile. I have the uh, CSS style sheet, the uh, uh, latest version of jQuery and the latest version of jQuery mobile and I went ahead and created four pages within my single page um, application. I have a home page which has uh, three buttons that uh, link to three more pages. I have uh, images, grids and tables. This is my image section. This will be my grid section and this will be my table section within my jQuery mobile application and we can look at it and see what it looks like here. Nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and look at how we can uh, make images responsive. This is the easiest way to get into responsive design. So I've gone ahead and in my code editor, I'm going in and I'm editing the section for images. I'm just deleting the default content there. And I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna grab an image that I have on my hard drive and drop it in and I'm using Dreamweaver just for you know cheating basically because it's pretty fast as a text editor um, and you'll see that by default uh, Dreamweaver has gone ahead and added the width and height now if we go in and look at our responsive design just refresh that I click on images it just doesn't look right I mean this image isn't responsive at all it's just uh, fit exactly um, onto the page and that's what you would typically expect to see so what I'm going to show you here is a trick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the height uh, definition and then I'm going to go ahead and edit the width definition and I'm going to change the width to 100%. Now when I go back in and I refresh my page that I'm creating you'll see that the image is now proportionally exactly the right size um, for the screen I'm looking at. Now what's really interesting is I can go and resize my screen. So if I was looking on a tablet or if I was looking on a phone or on a desktop, the image is proportionally larger. The way that this gets accomplished is that by default when you set the width to 100% and remove the height, the height is proportionally um, adjusted so that the image looks correct on your screen. This is actually a really old HTML trick. I've been actually using this since 1997 to uh, get images to lay up correctly on the screen. So it's a really old trick but it works great for responsive design. So that's the first thing we're going to look at. The next thing we're going to look at is probably the most important element of creating responsive design, which is grids. And grids are a way to be able to create vertical um, channels on your uh, screen that you place content in. And uh, jQuery Mobile makes it really easy for creating a grid. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create, I'm going to copy some code that I had earlier on for creating a grid. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to come into my grid section of my code and I'm going to paste in the uh, grid section. I'm going to get rid of that first one. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So to create a grid, 
you create a div tag where you put your content in and then you have your content within that div tag and then you, you use a CSS class in this instance it's UI-grid-A there are actually five different grids you can use the dash A means that there's going to be two vertical columns dash B three each 33 percent um, width um, dash C is 25 percent all the way up to E where everything is 20 percent um, let me show you what those look like inside of dream inside of your web browser so you have two grids and we've actually got two buttons by default the buttons are 100 percent width and what you'll see is that there is no spacing there's no gaps or anything like that um, there's no padding it's really easy to actually resize and cr manage the content using grids I really like grids a lot it's a great way to be able to manage your content um, so let's go ahead and play around with this a lot I'm actually going to take out these two buttons so we can actually see what this looks like with using our image tag as a way for playing around with responsive design. So I'm going to grab one of my images over here, drag that in, drop that in, and I'm going to remove the height. And set width to 100%. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and grab and copy over the same image from above. And now I'm going to refresh the page. We have two images and they are managed equally um, apart. Now what if we wanted to add a third image and um, instead of using tables we want to use our grid layout which is a more effective way. I'm going to go in and change the grid structure from A to B and then we're going to add in a third grid block and we do that and I'm going to copy over our code and we're going to define how the block gets structured so we've got A, B and C this um, allows us to see where everything is being placed on the screen I'm going to go in and I want to add in a third image and grab the jQuery logo that in. I'm going to set this to 100%. We'll get rid of the height. And let's see what that looks like. And there we have everything proportionally laid out on our screen. And as the screen size changes, the grid layout matches how the content is presented. Really fantastic way of being able to manage content. Now, sometimes you want to be able to have a single line grid which is just really the default of putting content on the screen there is also added into jQuery mobile a element called grid solo so if you wanted to just have one grid by itself you could certainly add that and we're going to demonstrate this and what you'll see that is really elegant is that there's no padding and spacing and the button is exactly the same width as the images so everything is proportionally laid out correctly on the screen so that's grids and let's move on to the final element which is tables so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy over a table that I pulled out from a website and I'm going to add that into my content area and I'll show you what this looks like bit by default inside of jQuery mobile it's not very pretty so we're gonna look in and see what tables look like and that's what a table looks like in jQuery mobile it's just a HTML table not very nice now there are some things that we can now do though is that jQuery mobile does have a data type called table that you can go ahead and modify and there are a couple of things that we want to add in uh, we can actually um, put in a feature called column toggle um, and UI responsive and what this will do will actually um, make sure that the content is um, uh, changes as you're loading up the screen we're going to copy over the table element and then the table header element then by putting in a, another uh, property called data priority we can actually then choose which elements show up on the screen let me show you what this looks like and then I'll step through it again so you can see how this works so come to the top of our table it's a big table and here is just the standard HTML header 
and we're going to replace that. Now let's go back to our example. Now what you'll see is everything is laid out really nicely on the screen. It's very elegant and as we resize, columns are, sh are hiding and disappearing. A new feature at the top allows us to choose which columns show and hide. And the priority of which column is shown and hide is dictated by the data priority property inside of your table head. So what we have now is within jQuery Mobile is that the new jQuery Mobile is by default responsive for multi-screen. Uh, we can then go in and make sure that our images are responsive and, and fill up the screen appropriately. We can make sure that we're using grids to lay out our content so that as the screens change sizes, the content moves around appropriately. And then we can also have tables display large amount of content, but leverage the abilities within jQuery Mobile to show and hide columns within that table. And that, in a nutshell, is how to make your content with jQuery Mobile responsive.